G'day, it's the Old Boys Club here again, and we've got our little Bible study today out of Proverbs chapter 3, and uh, my mate and brother Les is going to read the first few verses. This is Proverbs 3, and it's from the New International Version, and the title is Wisdom Bestows Wellbeing. My son, do not forget my teaching, but keep my commands in your heart. For they will prolong your life many years and bring you peace and prosperity. Let love and faithfulness never leave you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. Then you will win favour and a good name in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not toward your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him and he will make your path straight. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and shun evil. This will bring health to your body and nourishment to your bones. Honour the Lord with your wealth, with the first fruits of all your crops. Then your barns will be filled to overflowing and your vats will brim over with new wine. And from verse 11, My son, do not despise the Lord's discipline, and do not resent his rebuke. Boy, sometimes the Lord does discipline us, <laughs> mm. and we don't want to despise that. Because the Lord disciplines those he loves, as a father, the son he delights in. Blessed are those who find wisdom, those who gain understanding. For she is more profitable than silver, and yields better returns than gold. She is more precious than rubies, Nothing you desire can compare with her. 16 to 18 of Proverbs 3. Long life is in her right hand. In her left hand are riches and honor. Her ways are pleasant ways, and all her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to those who take hold of her. Those who hold her fast will be blessed. Praise be to God. The one thing that Solomon asked for was wisdom. Because it didn't matter about anything else, because once he had the wisdom... Everything else follows. Exactly. Right. Proportions. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've always said wisdom is the name of the game. Yeah. But it is. Be wise enough. And, let, and the only way we're going to get it is not just from learning, but... But the Lord's intervention, because we can't do it by ourselves, I'll tell you. But there are those who don't have the word of God and well, still have wisdom. Yes. The experience is a great wisdom. Yeah, I, yeah. 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 And if we ma marry that in with the word of God, then we really got, we've, we've got our ducks in the right place. Mm. See, well, well, you, read it, you read it early, my son, do not forget my teaching, but Keep my commands in your heart, for they will prolong your life many years and bring you peace and prosperity. Yes. You know, if you hang on to the Word of God, you're going to get a lot of wisdom. Wow. Oh. Well, that's our little discussion on wisdom, guys, and thanks very much for your contributions. And you get into the Word out there, and let the Word of God get into you. See you later. Bye. 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 Bye.